Yes, as you say, Sharon, uh, King Charles and his wife, Queen Consort Camilla, uh, have had this Clarence House as their residence for several years now, and this is where he woke up this morning. He's going to be spending the day in London, and we understand he's going to be spending a good few hours here at Clarence House before he does emerge from those gates that you can see behind me there. He'll then uh, go on to the Mall and then take a right turn and go to Buckingham Palace. We're really just a few hundred metres uh, from Buckingham Palace at this point. Now, Buckingham Palace is uh, very much the working palace for the British monarch. It's their office, so to speak. And the work that the King will be doing today uh, relates mostly to the Commonwealth, international matters. Uh, so I'm sure many of our international viewers will know that the King of uh, the United Kingdom is also head of state of uh, 14 other countries around the world, some of them large, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Jamaica, for example, and some of them small, for example, St Vincent and the Grenadines in the Caribbean or Tuvalu and the Solomon Islands in the Pacific. Now, uh, the, these are uh, places where he's head of state and the King is going to meet the Secretary General of the Commonwealth inside Buckingham Palace. And then he'll meet High Commissioners, uh, representatives of each of those 14 states. Uh, now, this is uh, not a, a small or insignificant part of the work of the British monarch. Uh, the Queen herself felt uh, very proud of having built up the Commonwealth to be the organisation that it is today. Uh, and Charles will likely see it as an important part of his legacy from her that he will want to uh, carry on into the future. The, uh, the Queen herself went on her, her international tour around the Commonwealth not very long after her coronation in 1953. Uh, Charles likely to do something similar. But there have been shakes to the Commonwealth in recent times. Uh, last year, 2021, Barbados chose to become a republic, uh, shed the British monarch as their head of state. And there are conversations ongoing in other countries as well, among those 14, about whether they want to continue that situation as well. So, uh, yes, the Commonwealth very much are dominating the king's agenda today. Catherine, as you say, you're very close to Buckingham Palace there. We have seen huge crowds gathering outside the gates over the last few days. Tell us, has security been tightened up as a result? You're quite right. Security certainly has been tightened up again uh, this Sunday here around Buckingham Palace. So from where I'm standing, I can see in front of me, there's the Mall, this long road that stretches out from the front of Buckingham Palace. Uh, and there are people walking up there, barriers stretching all the way down this road now, keeping people off of the main uh, area where motor vehicles will go. Of course, when the King leaves Clarence House here, he'll, he'll go in a car to Buckingham Palace. First Further up towards Buckingham Palace, uh, this morning we arrived to see uh, police vehicles taking away traffic lights uh, and uh, I asked a couple of officers and they say that it's for health and safety reasons. Of course, when there are big crowds, people want to get a view. They might climb up those traffic lights and might do themselves a mischief. So, yes, we're seeing a lot more uh, security measures here. It's a harder to get up to Buckingham Palace at this point as well. Uh, we saw tens of thousands of people here yesterday. I'm expecting to see at least the same today. It is Sunday. Most people in this country not working, not at school. They've had time to get themselves organised for travel to come up here to London uh, and there were already several hundred people around Buckingham Palace when uh, the France 24 team and I arrived around dawn.